Welcome to this uh, YouTube channel. Uh, today we want to talk about cellular respiration, uh, emphasis on glycolysis. Now let's start from uh, photosynthesis, uh, the process whereby uh, the energy from the sun uh, is being uh, utilized uh, by plants. And how did they do this? Uh, they helped to convert carbon dioxide and water uh, to uh, sugar and uh, oxygen. And when you have this uh, producing plants, animal comes around uh, to feed on these. And what happens is that they also convert uh, this sugar plus oxygen. And then there is the production uh, of uh, uh, carbon dioxide and uh, water. And also uh, this is referred to as cellular respiration. And this leads to the production of uh, energy. So when we talk about cellular respiration, we're talking about how uh, the body converts uh, this uh, sugar to energy uh, that is needed uh, by the cells. So when you take your food, um, energy is being produced. And how is this energy being, uh, is being produced uh, to get uh, the kind of energy that is needed in the body? The kind of energy that the body uses is called ATP, adenosine triphosphate, as the currency of the cells that helps uh, the cells uh, to drive their activity and assist the whole organism uh, in whichever activity that wants to be embarked upon. Okay, so uh, in the mitochondria, there are productions of ATP there and also the cytosol. Uh, but the process starts from cytosol through glycolysis and then it moves to the Krebs cycle where we have the production of ATP and also uh, to the electron transport chain. And so what we have there, we have a uh, production of uh, two ATP from glycolysis, and cytosol two from the Krebs cycle, the mitochondria, and then the electron transport chain, we have 34, totaling to 38 uh, um, adenosine triphosphate, uh, which is uh, the currency uh, of the cell. Now let's look at glycolysis. Glycolysis um, is a process in which uh, the glucose is converted to pyruvate, and the absence of oxygen, we have the conversion of uh, uh, the, the pyruvate to ethanol or uh, lactate. Uh, and uh, this process uh, happens in 10 steps in the cytosol, uh, and it is needed by the cells and tissues. And substantially, uh, glucose is needed by the brain, and um, the red blood cells as well need glucose. Now, glycolysis. Uh, happens in two phases. We have the investment or the preparatory phase. We also have the energy generation or the payoff phase. Now let's go into it proper. Uh, after digestion, you have your glucose. And this glucose now, uh, in the presence of uh, ATP, uh, where ATP is being invested at this point, and the enzyme called uh, uh, exokinase. And uh, in some cases, we have the glucokinase, especially in the liver, and the pancreatic beta cells. We have uh, the glucokinase that will assist uh, in the conversion of this glucose. So this glucose needs to be trapped inside the cell and this reaction uh, is usually done by uh, the enzymes exokinase or glucokinase as the case may be, to be converted to glucose 6-phosphate. And with this glucose 6-phosphate, the glucose is trapped uh, inside the cell. This step is actually very important in glycolysis because it's one of the steps in which this uh, glycolytic pathway is being regulated. Uh, so you have uh, the activation uh, part of it, which is done by insulin. You also have the inhibition, uh, which will come up as a result of the product of the first step, which is glucose phosphate, and also glucagon can also uh, inhibit uh, this particular step. Okay, so glucose phosphate is then, in the presence of phosphoglucose isomerase, is converted to fructose phosphate, and then the cis phosphate uh, in the presence of uh, ATP being invested again for the second time. And uh, the enzyme phosphofructokinase 1 is converted to fructose 1 cis bis phosphate. Fructose 1 cis bis phosphate can also uh, uh, be regulated. The production of the 1 cis bis phosphate is also a step that is involved in regulation in the glycolytic pathway. And so we have the uh, possible activators as fructose 2 6 base phosphate. We also have uh, the AMP levels and then the insulin. This particular step can also be inhibited by 
citrate, okay, which is uh, a product that is gotten at the end of the glycolytic pathway. We have the ATP level as well, and then the glucagon. And this particular regulation is like a feedback uh, kind of a mechanism of a regulation. For example, let's look at uh, the ATP and then the AMP uh, levels. Now, the main essence of the pathway uh, is to produce uh, ATP. Now, when we have high ATP, it signals that you have enough of it, and this can actually inhibit at uh, this particular uh, point in the pathway. And then when you have uh, AMP, which signals that probably the ATPs has been hydrolyzed, and then we have, instead of having adenosine triphosphate, we are having high levels of adenosine monophosphate, that's AMP, and this will actually help uh, in activating this uh, reaction, that's the AMP. So uh, it's like a feedback uh, mechanism of uh, uh, regulation of this pathway. So fructose one cis bisphosphate um, can now be converted in the presence of adolescent to glycerate 3-phosphate and dihydroxyl acetone phosphate. These two uh, products, they are interconvertible uh, in the presence of the enzyme called trials uh, phosphate isomerase. So try uh, try uh, uh, gly glycerate at the high 3 phosphate can be converted to dihydroacetone phosphate and it could also happen uh, vice versa. Now this marks the end of the preparatory or the investment uh, uh, phase of uh, glycolysis. So let's go to the next phase of uh, glycolysis. So it is the uh, glycerate 3 phosphate that is going to continue the journey here. Glycerate 3 phosphate um, in the presence of uh, NAD plus um, and the glycerate 3-phosphate dehydrogenase is converted to 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate. And 1,3-phosphoglycerate uh, is going to produce two molecules of ATP and the presence of phosphoglycerate kinase is converted to 3-phosphoglycerate. And 3-phosphoglycerate uh, is also in the presence of phosphoglycerate mutase is converted to 2-phosphoglycerate. And 2-phosphoglycerate in the presence of enolase is converted to phosphoenopyruvate. And phosphoenopyruvate in the presence of pyruvate kinase and the ATP also being produced here is converted to pyruvate. So when you get to pyruvate, there are three possible fates. There are two possible uh, things that can come out of this pyruvate depending uh, uh, on the presence of oxygen or absence of oxygen. So if oxygen uh, is actually uh, present in this particular case, uh, you will have uh, CO2, CO2 coming out here, uh, NAD plus going in and NADH out, and then you have the enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase complex enhancing the conversion of pyruvate into acetylcholate, which also continues in the reaction. But in the absence of uh, oxygen, for example, in heavily uh, exercised muscles or in the uh, or in the red blood cells. Uh, you have your pyruvate being converted to lactate in the presence of lactate dehydrogenase. Okay, we also have a uh, possibility of having what we call alcohol fermentation in the absence of uh, oxygen. Uh, it happens in yeast and some bacteria. And then what happens here is that there is also the process of uh, carbon peroxide are being released and formation of ethanol in the presence of two major enzymes called pyruvate decarboxylase and alcohol uh, dehydrogenase. So at the end of this, this is uh, the end of the energy uh, generation or the payoff phase of glycolysis. But this is not the end because the acetyl-CoA, we still need to continue uh, in this particular path uh, for the production of more ATPs. So from the acetyl-CoA, it moves to the Krebs cycle. We are going to discuss uh, later in our subsequent video and also the electron transport chain where the bulk of uh, the ATP uh, is being uh, produced. At the end of the day, uh, we have a net production of pyruvate, two molecules of pyruvate, uh, two molecules of ATP, even though four is being generated, but because we've expended two earlier on, so we have a net of two uh, ATP and then two uh, NADH uh, is being produced. Thank you very much uh, for watching uh, this uh, video. Uh, if you have learned uh, one or two things from this video, I want you to subscribe uh, and also to press the notification button uh, of this particular
of the two. Thank you very much for